These are the five subjects that I very much like during my bachelor's degree program in biotechnology. Each of these subjects or modules included a six to eight full days of practical work in the lab, mostly in the next semester. So for each of these five subjects, we had a theory part which took place in one semester and then the practical part which mostly took place in the next semester. And the purpose behind this time gap between the theory and the practical was to give us an idea of what actually we're supposed to do in the lab. I myself like the practical part more than the theory part most of the times, but you can let me know about your experiences, like which subject did you like the most or which subjects are you looking forward to if you haven't yet started your bachelor's degree in biotechnology. So do share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. So now let's look into five of my favorite subjects in no particular order basically. So the first subject that I liked was cell culture technology. So we had this module in the fourth semester and the practical part took place in the next, the fifth semester. We also had a seminar for this module where we had to do some research on a topic and present it like you would present your research and findings from your topic, you know, like, like a basic scientific work. Cell culture technology basically includes growing cells outside of their natural environments, like growing cells in vitro environment. It also includes the study of growth media compatible surfaces and containers where you can grow or preserve the cell lines. So topics like cell contact, some assays and cell counting methods after experimentation, establishment of primary cell cultures from, from their sources like biopsies and so, cryopreservation, cell culture characterization and application, tissue engineering and some other things. So those are the main topics that we had in this module in the theory part. And in the next semester, we had the practical work where we did some cytotoxicity tests. We also did some cryopreservation where we tested some cell lines and preserved the cell culture methodically at minus 80 degrees Celsius. I might be wrong, but as far as I can remember, this was one of the, one of the most interesting experiments in this module. Other than that, we practiced some cell counting methods. Uh, we observed some cell lines under fluorescence, uh, fluorescence spectroscopy and some other basic characterization methods for some cell lines that, we, that were treated or that we experimented on. So the second subject that I liked was microbiology. For me, microbiology was really interesting. Even in high school, I liked the microorganism part within biology very much. And it is in fact one of the most important subjects in biotechnology. And I think every biotechnologist, regardless if they're studying or doing some internship or some traineeship, have microbiology in their degree program. So we had the theory part for this module in the second semester, which included topics like cell organelles, basically from, basically from the microorganisms, their growth, their sustension and isolation, and the treatment. In microbiology, we also studied some cell growth in different cultures and how to inhibit them like the types of growth media that we can use for some bacteria or fungi. And I almost forgot this, a lot of focus in microbiology that we had was also about bacterial metabolism. Things like respiration, fermentation, and importance of different enzymes in these cycles, which understandably so proved to be very important later on. And in the third semester, we had the practical work for microbiology which was, I think, like seven full days of work in the lab. And that practical work included the learning of working at a mi uh, microbiology lab, dealing with agar plates and some other growth media, growth media for bacteria and fungi. And a big part of working in microbiology lab also included staining experiments for bacteria and fungi, like how to identify and characterize bacteria or fungi. Other than that, we had to, or we got to actually isolate and identify lactic acid bacteria and some species of mold, effects of four different antibiotics on different species of bacteria and their cell mass and cell number determination and calculation. So that's what we had in microbiology during our bachelor's degree in biotechnology. But I would like to mention that the focus of microbiology might be a little bit different depending on your university, like whether you're studying uh, you know, general, microbio uh, general biotechnology or chemical biotechnology, pharma biotechnology, basically the type of biotechnology, and also what your university is focusing on. It could be general biotechnology, but the focus of your university might be a little bit different than mine. You can share your thoughts and uh, your experience with me in the comments section. 
This module was also really interesting to me, and we had the theory part of bioprocess technology in the third semester, and the practical part was in the fourth semester. Basically, in this module, you learn about the use of living cells or their products like enzymes, and you learn how to use them like these living organisms and their products in industrial methods to obtain other products. So topics like different types of fermentation, understanding and applications of bacteria and fungi in bioreactors and high-scale industrial processes. Actually, a big part of bioprocess technology also includes uh, the making or the designing of bioreactors. So the practical work that we did included exactly that, where we used bioreactors to produce a biomass from a specific type of fungi or bacteria, and sometimes a mixture of both, with alteration of growth media under biocatalysis or under the effects of an enzyme to obtain a product. And then we had to analyze the results by controlling the internal conditions of that bioreactor like uh, nitrogen, oxygen, or glucose intake values. And of course, in the end, we had to clean and um, you know maintain the upkeep of bioreactors, which was also a part of this practical work. And my fourth favorite module in my bachelor's degree was molecular biology and gene technology. I think every biotechnologist knows about this subject in detail. So I would just mention the topics that I had in my bachelor's degree program. So here we had topics like molecular functions of proteins and nucleic acids, some basic genetic modification techniques, uh, polymerase chain reaction in detail, and how, and how it can be controlled and modified and some purification and cleaning methods for, um, for the products that are obtained during some, uh, during some experimentation, gene and protein expression and regulation. And in the next semester, we had the practical work, which included basically, basically the same things, just a little bit, uh, just a little, I would say, not that much, because we didn't have that much time for practical work. So here we did some DNA extraction and uh, quantification, real-time PCR for gene expression, uh, some gel electrophoresis methods for purification and cleaning of, let's say, DNA and protein, use of some restriction and ligation enzymes, and I forgot to mention this, in each lab, I would say, we had to learn the safety regulations and working behavior in each of these labs right in the beginning. These safety introductions were always taught on the first day of each lab in every module. And I think you guys will also have the same, you know, like a seminar and a walkthrough through the lab and everything will be explained to you. And if, if there are like some pictograms and some signs that you have to be careful about or some experiments where you have to behave in a certain way, you will be taught all this right in the beginning. So my fifth favorite module in my bachelor's degree program in biotechnology was biochemistry. And I think we all know about biochemistry in one way or another, but we had to learn topics like biosynthesis and structure and function of amino acids and proteins in great detail, I would say. Some of the topics in biochemistry included energy transfer in biological systems, function of various enzymes in very important biochemical reactions that take place in, um, I would say, living, living organisms, photosynthesis and um, respiration, cellular respiration, and some other chemical reaction and some other biochemical reaction complexes in great detail. And besides these very important chemical reactions or biochemical reactions, uh, biochemistry in our module uh, in also included the study and understanding of nucleotides and nucleosides and other chemical complexes like isoprenes, adrenaline and their precursors and um, some neurotransmitters, vitamins, some hormones, you know, just the basic or I would say just the most important ones. The practical work in biochemistry included making or uh, mixing of different puffer systems or puffer systems. Uh, as I said it in German, it's called puffer system, also puffer systems, it's puffer systems. Uh, protein determination tests like BCA tests, photometry experiments like uh, ethanol precipitation, some gel electrophoresis for proteins, um, and some other purification methods like question blot, etc. And this was really interesting to me. I enjoyed biochemistry also really much. There were also some other interesting subjects and modules, but five of my favorites, if I had to select them, then these would be my five favorite subjects. 
So that's been it for this video. Now you know my favorite subjects in my bachelor's degree program in biotechnology. Hope you enjoyed this one and do share your thoughts and comments with me in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.